Danny, I think it's interesting. We talk to families who think Division One are the top schools academically and athletically. Division One typically again, is a higher level of competition on the athletic side, but academically, all across the board, there are Division Two, II, Division Three NEI schools that are that are great schools. And it's important to note too on the academic side that the schools can have their own variants in terms of what they're looking for in terms of GPA or test scores or what makes you scholarship eligible. Again, you coach at a D1 school, you coach at a high academic D3 school. Um, the academic side, there, there's good schools, the division three level. It's not that, again, that misconception that division three schools are, are lower level in terms of their athletics and academics. Again, you, you know firsthand that's not the case. Yeah, I would, I would almost say the majority of your very, very high academic schools lie at the Division three level, um, where there's a little bit more academic athletic balance. Uh, there's a little bit more control over the academic side of things. And quite frankly, you know, the smaller schools, you're going to get a, a more focused education from those professors due to smaller class size, uh, accessibility, those sorts of things. So, yeah. Um, and in terms of the athletic side of things, uh, I, I there aren't clean breaks between divisions. It's not like the worst, the absolute worst division one uh, team is always going to be the absolute best division two team. You're going to get instances where a division three program is going to smack around a division one program in certain sports and certain instances. So, um, you know, I I think we need to do away with, uh, you know, those ideas that, you know, it's boxed in that if you're division two, you're a certain level athlete. Uh, I've seen some incredible athletics at the division three level. and, And those students actually were going to a high academic school and aiming to get a good education because in my sports swimming and diving there really isn't professional athletics you need to be an olympian to get those kind of endorsements and probably uh, a multi-time olympian to get those endorsements so for the very vast majority of sports outside of maybe men's basketball football uh you know those you know obviously your top tier levels you do have a chance to go on and be a professional but for the rest of us you're there to get an education and you need to set yourself up that way so exactly what john was saying don't try and squeeze the athletic side of things into something that's just not a good fit. You know, what we experience now is as coaches and now recruiters, there are so many opportunities out there. And like David was saying earlier, you know, you may carve out a school through NCSA's network, put in your preferences and say, hey, I've never heard of this school before, but just keep an open idea that, hey, this might be a really good fit for me, even though I don't know anything about it at this time. So we need to dispel some of those ideas about what the division levels mean in terms of competitiveness, because quite frankly, some of those division levels are very, very competitive. Uh, But at the end of the day, this is about academics. It's about getting a good education. And that's something that we need to focus on first and foremost. Hey, everyone. Thanks for watching. Click the logo to subscribe to our channel and check out all the other videos on our page for all things recruiting.